stock futures are looking at a lower open in Thursday's session. The market is prepping to wrap up a short week of pre-holiday trade. Now bank earnings are already rolling in as people get ready for their Easter celebrations. Now JP Morgan Chase & Company said its Q1 profit rose 17%. Trading helped results for the nation's biggest bank by assets. A 6% revenue gain also cleared expectations. Meanwhile, Wells Fargo reported first quarter earnings that topped expectations, but revenue came in below forecasts at $22 billion. And Citigroup reported net income for the first quarter of this year at $4.1 billion, or buck thirty-five per diluted share on revenues of $18.1 billion. Citi generated the most revenue from fixed income trading in three years. And in economic data, the producer price index here in the U.S. slipped 0.1% last month. And in terms of uh, the trading session on Wednesday, U.S. indices closed lower as President Trump warned the public that the U.S. dollar is getting too strong. Shares in the semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, transportation and capital goods sectors lost traction. As for your advancers and decliners in the previous session, 72% of S&P 500 constituents traded lower yesterday. And in overseas markets, Asia markets were mixed with the Nikkei down 0.7%, the Hang Seng losing 0.2%, and South Korea's Kospi gaining 0.9%. European indices are losing ground on Thursday. Here in the U.S. for the S&P 500, the downside does prevail. Short positions below 23.44 are preferred, with targets standing at 23.31 and 23.25 in extension. For the Nasdaq, on an intraday basis, it is under pressure. And for the Dow and industrials, the downside does prevail.